What am I say? Huh? You start it. Hey guys, welcome back. So today, on today's video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the do's, the don'ts, the whys, and the why nots. <laughs> I'm putting that in. No, you're not. Let's all thank Josh for giving us the intro to today's video. Good all right, start. what are we doing? I have no idea. What do you mean you have no idea? Well, we're giving an update on yes. what goes on with the life, the house, the build, Aaron, and all the things. Okay, he's he's he had a lot of of uh, espresso this morning, so you're just gonna have four to, shots. You're gonna have to excuse like every that. other morning. Let's hit the bullet points real quick. Okay, so the bullet points of the video are we want to talk about what is left to finish both inside mm -hmm. the house and outside the house. So what our goals are over the next couple of months and like the direction that the channel is headed. Yep. Talk about some health stuff. Talk about why we have a second channel, which this video is a perfect example of why we have a second channel because mm -hmm. the folks, we can start with that one basically, right? Sure, go. The, the build channel um, is all like big construction stuff. It's not like the little stuff and it's, it's the viewers that are there, they tend to only want to see that stuff. Like we, yeah. we had dabbled in showing the farm side of things and you know, like farm videos and whatnot over the past like cu couple of years. Mm -hmm. And then we would get a, a response a lot of the time that was like, well, I'm just here for the build stuff, which we totally and there's understand. A lot, and there's a lot of people that wanted to see the fa farm stuff and right. then also more. Just right, that. and see what, what the family does yeah. or like the interaction with us and the kids and what the kids are up to um, or like where we're going to source materials, just like everything. countertops and it's things. It's day-to-day, -day, the week-to-week -week thing, behind the scenes, that's not just build. Right, so, so it seemed like the best option to kind of um, make it okay for everybody was mm -hmm. to leave the build channel the way it was and that way those people who only wanted to see construction stuff didn't have to sort through videos. Like they just, they were still going to get what they came there expecting to get. And mm -hmm. then the people, which is a smaller number of people that wanted to see the extra stuff could just hop to the other channel. Yes. Now where the, <laughs> where the lines got blurred there was with our entertainment system build. Cause we kind of thought that was going to be like home decorating and home decor. And we thought it was going to be a one-day build until Josh built the tank, and it took us more than one day. Well, it's, it's, I mean, it works better that way. <laughs> I mean, I, I can I can go there and shake it; it doesn't wobble. So if I bought if I bought a stand from from say Walmart. Best Buy or Walmart, yeah, that whole thing will sway. Yes, it's great. It's sway. it's beautiful. We love it, but it was definitely <laughs> a lot more involved than I think that we were expecting. Expecting, we thought it was going to kind of be like a home decor quick item, and it wasn't. No. So this way we can do these kinds of videos where we can like talk to you guys and update you guys and then at the same time not absolutely like bore the people that just don't really care and just want to see mm -hmm. build stuff. Yep. Okay, so what is left to finish in the house? Do you want to? Before we talk about that, let's talk about we actually want to finish this portion of the house 110% before we start the next build. We don't want to have small things left over here, outstanding items to do while starting the big portion. Yeah, we don't. We yeah. want inside and outside of this house to be 100% done. We don't want to be five years down the road and be like, yeah, we never finished that crown molding. Just, yeah. yeah, we're gonna get it done, so it's done. Yes, so where we're at with that, the, the entire front portion of the house, it's like the great room, family room, the kitchen, the loft done. Is, is completely done. So that's the first half of the house. Yes. And we're left with the back house. So far the bathroom is done except for the- Glass. Yes. Um, we dropped the ball on that. We went months ago to the company, gave mm -hmm. them all of our measurements, and then we were presented with options on glass and it just threw us off because we weren't expecting yeah no I just thought there were cracks other things came up and it was more priority and just got left behind yeah and we wanted some time to think about what the right choice was to make on that which now we know what it is but basically yeah. just for a little bit of detail on that we didn't we kind of thought that you that there's just like one type of standard glass that you get for shower doors we just don't know didn't know any better but there's like low iron yeah so the glass standard glass it has like, i guess like small slight greenish tint if you look at a side of a piece of glass it's green mm -hmm. um because it has iron in it so if you get low iron it's actually truly clear glass and then you have like a i don't know a soap scum retardant it's, it's like a film on it just a bunch of 
stuff you can add to it and we were like, ooh, didn't A know. bunch of options that yeah. we didn't really know what what was actually needed and what was just unnecessarily raising the price. Because if you Unnecessary take, expenses probably, yeah. Right, if you take all those options and you go for the perfectly clear glass, you're really upping the price versus. Because like up like 35 to 40% in price. Versus price, yeah. just getting that like standard one that's kind of greenish. And, and I guess the reason it made us stop and think about this was because the man that we were talking to was telling us if you have a light or white colored tile behind the glass, you can look through it and sometimes it'll give a greenish appearance yes. to the tile. So I don't know. If you guys have experience with this, then we definitely would appreciate Let your input. I think where we're at think right now. Our, our tile is a good cream color, so I would, we probably wouldn't go to tile. And does Maybe. it really matter? No. I don't know. So we're, right now where we're at is we would prefer to just put in the standard glass and save the money. Yeah. So that's where we're yeah. at, but we dropped the ball on that and we, you know, we got distracted by what was going on outside in the insurance company, which we'll get to in a yep. little bit. Um, so anyways, the bathroom is done other than the glass. Yep. And then I guess where LA's room is, I guess where the, cat, the pantry is, we have crown molding. Yes. That area's done. The back bedroom. We crown. need to do the crown molding. Yeah. We, we, need, do that. we need yes. to do the crown molding that's in, in the hallway as well as the back room. And we need to fix that drywall area that's been driving us nuts that we've been slowly working on there's a little access panel that needs to get put in there yes and then the back room the back room with the beam and uh crown molding and the, laundry, the laundry the laundry laundry yes yeah. restack and reorganize that that's no big deal yes so that so that's it so we Not really much. are at the very end of the interior of the house yes. being done which is super exciting and then as far as the outside goes we still got to finish the foundation walls. I get those things poured and done. Stone. Finish underneath the house with, uh, I guess, the rest of the uh, plywood. Plywood underneath. That's yeah, done. Yes, and then, then the decks. Then the the front entryway deck with the stairs that goes yeah. down, and then the main big deck. So that's where our next issue is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Lumber prices are astronomically priced. I don't. I don't think I can pull. The um, amount of money that it's it's yeah, just it's, crazy it's, it would be painful to to, to buy the lumber what, what the cost would be to probably like what thirty thousand dollars for the deck you think i don't know it's horrendous like we're it's for just everything? it's just crazy it doesn't seem it's not even remotely reasonable so that's led us to the next issue so not issue the next item we got going uh, next thing we have going on so it's going to cost that much money for all this i have 60 acres worth of trees around here and we've actually owned a mill, what, probably five years ago, right? Yeah. A small old. one. It's actually a Harbor Freight mill. I've had, I had all the Harbor Freight tools. Um, a Harbor Freight mill, and uh, it worked out great. Yeah. We actually, uh, we actually built our, enti our entire chicken coop um, with uh, the logs on our property, mm -hmm. our previous property. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go back to that route because in our county, we can actually uh, build our house with wood that comes off our own mill. It doesn't, like I got in a lot of counties, the county next door to us, you can't build a house without having a stamp from the uh, sawmill it came from. So it needs to be kiln dried, the entire thing. So we're gonna go that route, we're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a sawmill. Yes, and, and that's- do the entire house with it. From yes. the, the siding, the studs, everything. The floor joists, everything. So. Yes, uh, the the and and in this it'll also allow. We've also been talking about potentially building a, a solar kiln to help us dry the yes. wood. Um, we have tons of projects because the, the future of this property is so much more than just, just a the house. house. It's it's a workshop eventually. It's something we really need is a shelter for our uh, tractor and our buggy, the, the four wheelers to keep mm -hmm. them out of Everything. the rain, where we don't have to go all the way down to the barn to. Go Everything. under the bays to get those things. Um, animal shelters, fencing, all kinds of stuff that it just, it's kind of silly for us to just go and buy the lumber, especially we have no idea when the lumber prices are going to drop. Now, that, back in uh, what, August? We heard October, November. Yes, and now have, here we are. Haven't went down. Yeah. Nothing. So, so that's the plan. And the, and the plan is and that. To keep in mind, uh, that, that mill will pay for itself. Yeah. Once we get the entire, both decks done, it'll pay for itself. Yeah. And then we have so much more to build yeah. after that. Um, but the plan is that we, the, uh, I mean, we're not far from the entire interior being done, but the interior, the foundation, and both of the decks being done with that mm -hmm. by like late spring at the latest, hopefully spring, Yes, is the goal. 
and then we can break ground on the big build. So I guess what that also brings us back to is insurance. Um, with insurance, we jumped from finishing the inside of the house to immediately going outside without all of this being completed because we felt like we had gotten under the gun with mm-hmm. insurance to to complete the closing and the foundation. And um, it was made pretty quickly aware to us that we were not going to meet that deadline. We were able to just drop liability insurance on that, which gave us a breather. It took a lot of the stress off. And another reason that that was good was so that we could just kind of slow down um, yes. for me so that, uh, I don't know. I don't know really how to get into this because it's kind of like, it's kind of weird. I know I've seen a lot of comments from you guys that I've been losing weight or I've been skinny and I promise you I'm not offended by them. It takes a lot for me to get offended and I get it. Um, people have been concerned and stuff and we have been too, which is one of the reasons why we've wanted to slow down and not have me be doing anything that's exerting a lot of energy and burning calories. Cause over the past mu- couple of months I have been like steadily dropping weight and we have been working to try and figure out like what's going on and fix that situation and like just, you know, kind of eat. And a, and a good big thing that is constant work. Burning, burning constant calories, yeah. and that's been a thing that's been going on for, I mean, since since we got out here, it's been, yeah, it's been con- constant work. We've literally have like eaten, slept, breathed the build for like two years now since yes. we've been out here. That our entire like laser focus has been the build and making sure that the kids have everything that they need, and it hasn't left a lot of time for. Us. But me, I'm on the other hand, I, whatever I see, I pick up and eat. I put, <laughs> I put 15 pounds on. It's unfortunate for me, you know? So we're trying no. to take the time between now and spring to kind of like rest up and rejuvenate and be in totally good health to hit it hard. For the new build. For the new build once, yeah. once spring gets here. And also, like, that's not the only thing, but with us being so laser focused and constantly working on the build and the kids, like, we, we want to take a little bit of time to really, like, enjoy how hard we've worked and and what we built and like just just relax and be like no like yeah let's let's call today early and have movie night with the kids or you know F- family time have family time yeah. and just re- relax a little bit and not just be constantly working nonstop correct what else we got i think that's it do you have anything else that's it that's it. all everything we had well i don't know we are what's left to finish in the house inside and outside you know, getting getting healthy and rejuvenated and kind of taking time for, like, what matters. I mean, it was, I think, like, for, for us, for, for us, when, when we moved out here, the hard part for us was not working together. That was actually the easy part. Yeah. Like, we have no problems. We enjoy spending tons of time together where we can be together plenty and not get on each other's nerves. Mm-hmm. And we know how to communicate that I know when to defer to him. Um, he's completely willing to accept, you know, my ideas or my thoughts on build stuff, but I also know that he has more experience and, um, you know, I know to defer to him on that sort of thing. And Electrician, you can say, you know? <laughs> I get, and he knows to defer to me when it comes to like livestock yeah. and farm, yeah, farm that's, sort that's, of stuff. That's so your lane. The easy, the easy thing for us was, was building. I think the, the hard thing for us was time which has just been just been like we've been slammed i know it's it's been constant like like non-stop and that's why we're at the point where we need to take a couple of months to like slow down and enjoy things because otherwise this entire time is just gonna fly by you know what i mean you got to stop and smell the roses sometimes and enjoy, and enjoy the comforts because those two years that we were out here the first nine weeks we were out here we didn't have any running water we were hauling water in and showering out of water heated over a fire in a metal trash can. Yes, for the first nine weeks, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and also that first winter too. We, 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 were, we weren't set up with our systems. That's the hardest part, all. I think, of moving off-grid to a completely undeveloped property is the point in time between when you get there and when you actually get your systems in yeah, place. Yeah, and the first time we ever slept in a camper was the night before we settled on, on our house of sell- selling. The yeah. first night sleeping there. So yeah. we came here, um, we got everything set up, and then... Uh, Winter came around and it gets colder up here than back home. But a lot of freezing issues with, with pipes. We get down to negative four sometimes at night and you get freezing issues. And uh, 
next thing you know, your pipes are frozen for the next three or four days. As well as as well as the line, like the hose line that we had running mm -hmm. from the well. So we did have running water on the property that first winter, but we couldn't access it because of the freezing pipes. And then during the day, you know, Josh was gone every single day at work. So Carter and I would be out there hauling water up the hill from the creek in five five gallon buckets at a time to not only go and water the animals, but then to bring that water back in and boil it over the stove so that the family could shower. Like shower. Yeah. So the lack of, of comfort, <laughs> not only that, but the inside of the RV, like we, we, our RV that we bought was extremely old and like run down. There wasn't a working furnace. So figuring out how to properly heat the place was an, an issue for a while there. Yeah. We, we were sleeping that keep first in mind, the walls, winter, the walls are that thick. I mean, the wind blows, you can feel the wind go yeah, through the walls. It was rough. We were sleeping the first winter in like coats with the hood up, like sweatshirts, long pants, socks, everything. It was an unusually cold winter though, I thought. Probably because we were in the camper though. It probably yeah. wasn't. It was probably just because we were in the RV. And we would wake up in the morning and there was ice on the inside of the windows, yeah. of every single window in there. So this... Like, we are absolutely spoiled by the comfort of this yes. house right now. And I had to get up at 3 a.m. to go to work, and I uh, <laughs> have to uh, hop on my sled, and uh, to my, my work truck up here, it's a two-wheel drive, and I sled down the hill. Every day to work, mile. he'd just leave the kids <laughs> sled down there, he'd ride the sled down to his truck. Yeah, half mile to my it's truck. Good times. Yeah. But the, the thing is, I think why you guys haven't heard us Talk I'm going to call it whining and complaining yeah. about it is because we moved out here knowing that we were going to go through tough times from the point in time in which we got here to getting the house built. Yeah, and we put ourselves in an own situation that we're in. Yes. Nobody else. We're not going to complain to you guys about it. No, we're so. not. And we were fully accepting of yeah. the fact that, that things were going to be tough. And I can't imagine us having come out here feeling so grateful and excited about what we were going to do to sit here and ruin the entire time for ourselves by whining and complaining about it. Because yeah. the house, like, yeah, we were, we were cold and miserable and working late late nights a lot of the time, but we were also extremely grateful to be out here and how could we sit there and complain about, about the situation yeah. that we put ourselves in? Like it just is absolutely ridiculous. And we're also just not that type, those, the type of person that whines because we know that we're the only ones that are going to be able to change our circumstance. So it's like, like we know it's cold, quick, you, quick, you bitching. Yeah. Build the house yeah, because the house. house isn't gonna isn't gonna build itself. If you're gonna sit there and whine about the environment that you're living in, well, build faster. Yep. That's, and that's it. what we did. We built the house, and now we can Relax. sit here and be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that it? I guess. Did we cover everything? We just wanted to give you guys an update because we know there's been been questions, and um, you know this is a good place on this channel to answer that kind of stuff. And just so you guys know what to expect with what kind of projects are coming up over the next couple of months. Yeah. And where we're headed. What else? That's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>